Jackson has his number called on first down and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Uh oh, did we get a sack? On Engelberger was a one man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his second tackle so far. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Payson gains five on the play, and that will bring up third down. E S P N. NFL 2K5. Johnson reels in the football and he gets the go ahead touchdown. Josh takes the lead. Quincy Carter threw the pass into double coverage but gets his man perfectly. Hey, that He's was bringing guys the fourth quarter throw. guys. That's another pass that here. went pretty much down the middle. He hasn't been so. working the sides too much. Well, he's obviously very confident to be throwing into where all the traffic is. I use them on all sliders for the gameplay. Now the extra point, and the extra point good. it's good. Or simulation. There's the signal, and we're ready. Cundiff booms a beauty here. Hamilton decides to take it out of the end zone. Another move. Tackled at the 23. Derek Hamilton took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The 49ers have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 23-yard line. Okay. Rate throws a bullet to the flat, and it is not reeled in incomplete. Tim Rate has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 136 yards and three interceptions. for a first down. Rashawn Woods nabbed the football away from three defenders in his area. That's got to feel good. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down, one man back. Ron Barlow. Barlow Ron Barlow ten yards on the play, and that brings up first down. Kevin Barlow played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. about a yard here. Dexter Coakley targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Lloyd goes in motion. Rate unloads this one to the left, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Let's go back and revisit that last tackle in the backfield. Great stop. Well, and Dexter Copley's had to be a battler to get to where he is today. Came out of tiny Appalachian State as an undersized linebacker, but, boy, he's made his mark in the NFL, and he might have left a mark after that hit there. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Brandon Lloyd put himself in the right place back there, coming across the middle, but the catch was elusive, no dice. Peter, they cannot seem to connect on the long ball. They've taken some shots there, but it, 
nothing is working. Yeah, their timing is off. They need to go to shorter passes. Lee gets ready to punt this away. Lee takes the long snap and punts it away. Smith takes it at the 11. Stopped at the 23. Zuriel Smith racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. Cowboys will start this first play of the drive at their own 23-yard line. Julius Jones played it smart on that last one by following his blockers, but hey, they were unable to open up any holes for him. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Hey, Dan, look there. Way to pick up yards after the first hit. Carter zips it to the left sideline, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Terry Glenn had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make the catch. They've been having some guys real didn't have success a good, uh, by keeping uh, outing him on the left side of the field. In real life, Dan, uh, this weekend, the in week five of 2023, it's the 49ers. 49ers are 5 0 oh in real life. See what happens in this game. Jones catches it in the flat and is at the 40. Runs out at the 40. Julius Jones nabbed the pass without any challenge whatsoever from the defense. When you're that open, every quarterback in the league can get it to you. He reels in another one today. I wonder what they put in his oatmeal this morning. Probably the passing playbook. Does this one way out right and rambles for about five. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. Jones. Jones. Jones gains That's ten yards on the play. And they will move the chain. Julius Jones played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do, and he done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. That's part of Lines down at the 41. Johnson goes in motion. Jones will get the carry oh, dude, on second on. down and heads wide left. Finally dropped nice at run. the 25. That will bring up first down. Julius Jones got yards by staying so close to his blockers. I think they were sharing each other's aftershave. One and he game. is generating some great numbers. Oh yeah, he's oh, running he's hard. And up to now, he's got 103 yards on 21 carries. Hayden yeah, gets the handoff the and heads left. Brought down at the 16. Bickerstaff is at the five. Bickerstaff chews up 14 yards, and that will bring up first down. This is it, Dan. It's going back to four. Ball at two yards. Down. Green, 17. Green, 17. Takes his 22nd carry of the game and gets in for the score. I might be the ball game. 
Julius Jones completely juked the defense on that game, last though. one. That stutter step gave him an opening for some big yards. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 120 yards and one touchdown. It's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Pundit rockets this one deep. Hamilton decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks free, bagged down at the 19. Derek Hamilton took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The 49ers are down, but not out. They'll start this critical drive at their own 19-yard line. Lloyd catches it in the flat and picks up maybe a yard. 49ers don't need to Second do that. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Rate throws a bullet to the flat and it's off incomplete. Brandon Lloyd had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. Another ball comes his way, and another incompletion. To come up blank so many times in a row is, well, it's got to be demoralizing for a player. Absolutely, but you got to fight through the slump and grab one to get rolling again. Mitchell tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Donald Mitchell got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Rate zings it to the right guy. side That's and ball, it falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over on down. That was some aggressive play calling that deep in their own territory and it may have cost them dearly. I just don't see how they were in four down mode there, especially at their end of the football field. That's a bad call. The Cowboys are in control, but it's far from over. The offense comes out and will start this drive at the 19-yard line. Jones will get the carry on first down and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Jeff Ulbrich was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got five tackles and one sack. Second down, two tight ends in the game. The 49ers take their first time out. Third down, the clock is stopped at 1.56. Jones will get the carry on third down, and the 49ers will take a timeout. That's their second. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Cundiff kicks it from 35 yards and it's good. Billy Cundiff kicked that one so wide it almost hit the upright, but luckily the kick was good. And yet again, they get into the red zone and can't get it across the goal line. Another field goal. You know, Dan, you can win a game three points at a time, but it's quicker to go by sevens, don't you think? Just a, uh -huh. just a little math tip there. Yeah, very good. 
Cundiff, whom's a beauty here. Hamilton decides to take it out of the end zone. Stopped at the 19. Derek Hamilton got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The 49ers will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 146. Latay throws this on a rope, and the 49ers take a timeout. That's their final one. Second down, the clock is stopped at 141. Wood catches the bullet out left, and he's got the first. The clock continues to tick down. First down, 10 yards to go. Latte zings it to the right side, and the catch is made for the first. The clock continues to tick Very down. Fancy. Wood makes the catch out to the left and gets past the markers for a first down. First down, one man back. Latte throws a big rainbow nice here and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Latte spikes the ball, and that will stop the clock. Second and ten. Ball at the 20-yard Rate zips it to the left sideline and it's tipped incomplete. Jock Reeves came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Third down, the clock is stopped at 45. Woodson puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Bruce Thornton closed in from the zone and forced the incompletion. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Gets the sack, and that will force a turnover on downs. Marcellus Wiley dropped him before he could get past the markers. A huge stop on fourth down. Well, they don't convert on fourth down, and that will be it for them. Yeah, chalk this one up in the right L there. column, Dan. It's all over. tonight's game. The Cowboys come out on top 29 to 14. For my partner Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Okay Dan, thank you very much and let's welcome all of you back to the studio. 
I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN video games post game wrap up. The Cowboys stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Quincy Carter connected with his man on this one. Tim Rattay would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 22-yard play that set up a 49er touchdown. The boys answering right back. Cowboys behind by five. Billy Cundiff comes on for the field goal try. Good spot. This is right through the upright. They climb back into the game, now down by two. The Niners on D. Terrence Newman is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Niners ahead, 14 to 12. Number 23 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Niners have it off an interception. The ball at the 48. Terrence Newman shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The boys, after getting an interception, Cowboys losing by two. Julius Jones is going to show a little athleticism here as he finds an opening and then look at him go. He's off to the races. They grab their first lead of the half and go up by five. Tim Rattay would find his target on this one. Niners back, 19 to 14. Julius Jones got the carry here and he comes through. A two yard touchdown for the Cowboys. The Cowboys move ahead by 12. After driving one yard on three plays, Billy Cundiff would be called upon for the field goal try and he'd come through to connect for field goal number five here. Niners back by 15. Tim Rattay connected with his man on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Cowboys come away with a win, 29 to 14. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Julius Jones is standing by with our Susie Calvert. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You helped carry your team today, and you were instrumental in helping your team snag the win. What made the difference for you guys to come out triumphant today? I've got to give credit to the linebackers. They played well today. They were reading the plays, and they got after the ball like a pack of wild dogs. They played big time today. Big ups to the linebackers. Back to you, Chris. That winds up our broadcast of the NFL preseason on ESPN. Worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for joining us.